Not sure what all is gonna go on today. I got a bunch of stuff I wanna tell you guys about. First thing is, Frank's car was actually painted in this garage during the past week, uh, so I haven't had much time in the garage. I really haven't worked on any cars this past week uh, just because this car's really been in here, and then there's been a big plastic booth all inside here. I didn't take any video. I was busy, and most of the time I was in and out of the house, and I wasn't even here while it was actually being done. But first, we'll take a look at the car. Yeah. So the color itself, I'm not sure what it is, but it's a very pearlescent color, and then we have a bunch of flake in it as well. So we decided to do the two-tone with the black and the pink. We got the black on the roof, this little roof spoiler thingy, and then on the top of his spoiler. We haven't put the bumper on yet. I think he's gonna be coming later today, which we'll be able to film. Uh, we'll put on the rear bumper. Uh, it hasn't been wet sanded yet. Uh, wheels aren't even clean. All this stuff is all still dusty. Windows are disgusting. So this car really needs to be cleaned up, wet sanded, and uh, then it'll be looking really, really good. But it looks crazy. I hope you guys can see it in person if you do live in the local area. He does go to a lot of meets, so I'm sure you'll see it. The car is a little dusty dusty right now but you can see all that flake in there also for those of you who are going to find about uh, not this weekend but next weekend uh, he'll be driving the car up there or at least he wants to so we'll see if he can make it up there uh, he should it's all running right and everything so it won't be a problem I'll probably also be there I'm not a hundred percent sure whether or not I'm going but we'll see maybe I'll get the vet ready in time uh, my wheels should be done by then and then we can put all the arrow and stuff on so I could maybe make it with that thing but I'm not hundred percent sure yet we'll see in a previous video you saw I was doing the side skirts for this thing I have yet to get the metal but after I talk about all the rest of this stuff uh, I'll probably end up doing the front bumper template and that way you guys can kind of see all what my whole plan is and then that way I can measure out for all of the material that I need now moving on to this thing Nando just brought me my angle kit today so this is uh, what the angle kit is it's basically almost like a relocation for the mounting point for the tie rod end uh, this bolts into the knuckle we do have to drill two holes in the ear of the knuckle and then the tie rod end just bolts in right through here and uh, I have yet to test fit this or anything uh, we've done some test fitting previously we'll see how it works out but that's pretty awesome I'm super excited to finally get more angle on this thing this is the m3 bumper for Chris's car that's actually not there anymore he took that out to a frame shop uh, so the frame's gonna get straightened out and here he has the bumper some other parts and uh, I think he's gonna get it wrapped really soon and so he's got stuff with that obviously this is Frank's bumper all painted everything's good it just has to be mounted up and and like I said, we'll probably end up doing that later in this video. Three Piece keeps sending me teaser photos of the wheels and they're super close to being here and I cannot be more excited. But the problem with that is, is I think the wheels will be here before the bodywork is finished with what we have. So what I wanted to propose to you guys is a solution to that. So I'm sure most of you guys recall my video where I had my going away party and I basically had, you know, a car meet at my house. Well, I almost want to do something similar where every Sunday I'll have a bunch of people come over and we'll all, you know, basically I'll have like a barbecue, people will be cooking, food will be supplied, and then we'll almost have like a mini car meet where we're all here, you know, just to basically haul ass and get a bunch of stuff done on this thing. Like we'll all have like, you know, sanders and stuff like that and we'll all basically get a ton of this done. So back when I was in California, I would work on this thing for an entire week and then on Sundays or Saturdays on the weekends when my friends had more time to come over I'd have like six to eight friends come over and we would slave away on this thing for like six hours and we'd get more done in that six hour time period than I did in the entire week so I think an awesome way for you guys to be able to help out on the build and then obviously you guys can come hang out you know see all the cars and everything um, but obviously I would appreciate the help but I think it'll be kind of a cool way to involve you guys in the process and then it would also get this thing going a lot quicker so I'm gonna go ahead and put my email in the description and I want you guys to email me if you're in the local area or I don't really mind where you come from but as long as you're able to make it here on Sundays or whenever I decide to do it which will most likely be Sundays I think it'll be a good Good time for when the majority of people are able to come uh, I'll basically have an email list 
where I'll send out an email once a week and you'll RSVP and say, hey, yes, I can come or whatever, or no, I can't come this week, and you know, just email me and I can put you on the list to basically let you know, you know the address, what time to come and all that stuff and uh, you know if you want to bring whatever food and stuff like that so I think it'll be a really awesome kind of cool little event like every Sunday um, but please don't contact me if you're not interested in helping out but please do contact me if you are interested in helping out with the Cressida I will appreciate your help anyways we can move on to some other stuff and move on to the template for the front splitter also just found this little toy car that I forgot that we painted while we were painting his car just like his little bit darker color just because uh, this car was originally red and our base coat on that car was white but still really awesome idea and I'd like to do that when I eventually paint this thing. Also, one last thing before we work on the Miata lip. If you guys happen to have a C5 or C6 Corvette, go check out the link in the description. The company that made the coilovers that are on this car is giving me a discount code for $200 off your coilovers. That makes them the cheapest coilovers you can get for a Corvette. And if you get these coilovers, obviously you don't have to be stance boy like I am. Obviously I use these coilovers to be able to go low and have a stiffer spring rate, but these coilovers are originally track focused. If you look on their website, all of their stuff is meant for the track. And obviously I just kind of like repurposed that into, you know, almost more of a drift slash stance coilover. Um, Obviously, it's kind of universal. You can do whatever you want with them. No matter what you're doing with your car, $200 off coilovers is such a crazy amount, especially when you're considering that there are no cheap coilovers for this car. To be able to get that amount off makes them the cheapest coilover. So if you guys have any interest in getting coilovers for your Corvette, definitely check Power Tricks out. Such an awesome company. Charles is an awesome dude. And now we're giving back to you guys and giving you guys $200 off coilovers. Anyways. Now we can start on the Miata lip. I had a few of you guys ask whose Ducati this is. No, it's not mine, it's actually a family friend of mine. Uh, I'm helping them sell it. But if you do happen to be interested in it for some reason, you can go ahead and DM me uh, whatever you want. I can give you some information on it. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk much during this process. I'm basically just gonna cut out the cardboard, make the template, and then I'll show you guys the design and basically, you know, what it's going to look like and how I want to do it and all that. Now obviously this isn't fitted up or anything. Uh, it's gonna be up here. I can only do as good as I can. This is the general idea. Uh, basically, I want this to all be mounted up here and I want it to be at like a slight angle down. And then I wanna build almost like a two inch thing here, like where it has like a side to it. Two inches here and then like maybe like go down to like half an inch or something and that way it almost is like a wedge so it's very kind of like bozo inspired i don't really know what i think about it right now i think it looks a little odd but i think because it's kind of like the first time i've ever seen anything like this on a miata it's gonna look a little strange i'm gonna go ahead and build it out exactly how i wanted it or how i imagined it and uh, maybe tape it up there as best as I can. Basically get it as close to what it would look like if it was made out of metal and all finished and put it up there. And then uh, go from there and see what I think about it. Basically, uh, I boxed all this in, so I have this front part and this side part, and this definitely didn't reassure me of my idea. Um, if anything, it reassured me that I'm not low at all. Uh, you can see here, this is probably how high it's gonna be off, and that's about four inches. So, obviously, I want some kind of arrow to actually make it look like I'm lower. The side skirts, obviously, I can put them at whatever angle I want to make it, you know, an inch or two off the ground, reasonably low, but still, you know, semi-functional. And uh, here, 
I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm feeling about this. I mean, I, I just don't know what to do because I want something custom. I want to build something, but I just don't know what I want to do yet. I feel like this bumper just doesn't look right with this. Um, maybe it's because most of the Bozo cars don't have this kind of like rounded front fascia. It's more like the Cressida, you know, where it's a more boxy car to start out with. I don't know yet. And then I also don't really like that this whole front tire is exposed and that there's nothing really coming out and I don't really want to do anything too crazy out the side obviously if I do this kind of a lip it's just it would look weird if it was out and then there's no bumper this is just I, I don't really know what I'm doing here even though I don't want to buy something I also was looking online and I found one lip that's definitely pretty expensive and that's why a lot of people don't have it so it would be kind of unique it's just I'm really trying to stay away from buying anything, but then I want to do my side skirts and I don't want to have, I don't want to buy other side skirts that people put on these things. So I'm not really sure what I want to do. And I haven't really, and I've never seen a homemade splitter or spoiler that actually looks good on a Miata. So I'm not sure. So I started out by just putting this side skirt on just so that way I can kind of visualize what I want. And I got this idea to put this little thing right here. And basically this would be at the same angle as that, you know, this way. And then I have this cut this way, the same angle as that. So just for like continuity purposes. And I definitely like this lip a lot better with that. Um, I'd like to try and make some way to make this look like thicker when it's all said and done. Uh, maybe add like square tubing or whatever. Um, and then it is cut a little short, but I'd like for it to go all the way to the tip. Definitely looks better. And then that way it kind of flares out, goes to the wheel. And then that way this flares out too. And almost at like an even length all the way along the car. I think that'll look way cooler. Just makes it look so much better. I feel like at first it was way too narrow there. But I just didn't want it to like, you know, come out too far from the bumper. But I feel like that coming out at an angle like that looks pretty cool. I'm going to build one for the other side. That way I can get like a front view. So this is it doesn't look too great right now i think that side's a little further this way but uh i think when it's all said and done it'll look a lot better than it does now but i'm still not like 100 percent sure on this idea and i'm sure you guys probably aren't as well also another thing i want to discuss is a lot of you guys dm'd me saying or commented saying that you want the side skirts to go into the flares uh, that's one thing I don't want to do. These flares, because they come out so much, I don't think this car would look good with flares that started all the way at the bottom there and continued all the way around. I think that it's really hard to make a car this wide look good. Um, just sometimes the flares like just are way too like overwhelming and I think this is about as good as it's going to get and I don't think these flares will ever change unless I decide to like take away the camber or something like that. I just got back from picking up some food and uh, Frank took his wheels off his car. I think he's getting some new tires put on them. Uh, but then he just texted me that the tire shop is closed right now or they're too busy or something like that. And so that's not happening. Him and Chris are gonna head back over here. I don't know what we're gonna end up doing, but I've been looking at this Miata lip for a little bit now and it's starting to grow on me. And I think I'm definitely gonna go through with this idea. I'm gonna build it all out. I know these are, I know the side skirts are the way that I want them. And I was kind of iffy about the lip at first, but now the more I look at it, I think it'll look good. Um, but just like everything else, uh, I'm gonna build it. But if I don't like it, I'll do something different later. Uh, this will just give me uh, a little bit of a idea of more what I want, I guess. Um, and then that way, you know, we can finally get the exterior of the car done and finally start working on the interior because this interior has been lacking for a long time. And I really hate the fact that it's all stripped. It was never intended to be like this originally. So I'm really, 
kind of want to get this car moving along kind of get it more to a point where i'm kind of done with it and then that way i can kind of be happy with it and then maybe uh in the future uh probably get different suspension i'm probably going to go with some power tricks same coilovers on here i'm going to get some custom built ones for this thing that have like a super high spring rate and that way this thing will actually ride a little bit better um and then i'll also go and get an alignment on this thing that way my tires last a little bit longer the alignment isn't that great on this um so little things here and there uh and then some big things too anyways frank got back no new tires, but we're getting the rear bumper on, and at least we'll be able to see how this car looks when it's finished, all put together anyways. So since there's not much more to do around the garage tonight, uh, I decided to go ahead and clean up the vet a little bit. It's been quite dirty since it's been sitting outside for about a week while Frank's car's been painting, which speaking of, he's cleaning it up a little bit, and he's got the rear bumper all attached. Also, Zach is here, the one with the Integra, hard to see right now. Uh, All right, one last thing before we go. Frank has something to say. He's trying to sell his radiator so he can actually get an exhaust on that thing, or you can't see it, but on the S13, that way you can actually take it the final bout. Uh, I'll take it what, that do you, way. what are you selling this thing for and what is it? $300 Mishimoto KA uh, S13 radiator. Good condition, doesn't leak, but it's kind of dirty. And then Flexolite fans, which are like 350 bucks new or some shit like that. They're really nice. Anyways, if you want that thing, contact him. I'll put his Instagram in the description. Just DM or whatever. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and peace out.